Are you guys ready for the most exciting episode of the Rocky City Relish you have ever seen? The Rocky City Relish helped return a dog to his owner. We also show off our cool new hideout. And we see the aftermath of a fight between Ghost and a neighborhood teenager who challenged him to a battle. Anyways, I hope you enjoy today's thing. Please, don't try any of this at home. It's very dangerous. Enjoy the video. Welcome to the official hideout of the Rocket City Relish. Right now, we're trying to clean up the place. There's Ghost over there practicing his balance. And we just sort of hang out here when we're not at Black Ninja's HQ. See, Black Ninja clearing some sticks. Soon, we'll have this place up and running. Soon, I will balance on this thing. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyways, we just wanted to check in and tell you that, you know, we got our own digs. Anyways, we'll tune back in later if anything interesting happens. This is Rock City Rouse, and this is Jet Black balancing on the tree. You can see there's nothing supporting him, nothing holding him up. That is pure balance all by himself. Don't believe me? I will get close. No wires. It's just pure balance. Okay. Let's clip to the next guy. Uh, here's the Rock City Relish. We're checking in again, and we're helping get the stray dog. Yeah, take the, take the thing off, because the people are going to think that you're a robber. I think it just used the bathroom in their yard. I know. I think so, too. Uh, so we know it's a neighbor's dog. Oh, go! Oh, go! Does it have a collar on where we could, like, grab it? It did, but it used to be a shot collar. It used to be a shot collar. Come on, Pablo. Got it. You have it? Cool. Let's walk it. Come on. Wait, you got to film it? Let go, let go, let go. Back, 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 back. Stop. This dog doesn't trust none of y'all. Come on, Pablo. Come on, boy. Okay. You gotta at least make it walk. Come on, boy. Bogo. Come on. What are you doing? Come this on, is a serious Bogo. situation. Come on, boy. Come on. I think we would have done a better job if we just pulled on the collar. Yeah, you gotta like. Yeah, we're not moving it at all. You gotta like gently nudge it by the collar. Whoa! Yeah. Gently nudge it by the collar. Come on, Come on Bogo. The collar. You can't move a dog by Dude, just it rubbing like it. I can feel his ribs. Has he been lost for a long time? No. That's so weird. He just lives around the corner. How no, he doesn't. He lives in front of us. Come on. That's where I live. Around the corner. Come on. You, you just gotta keep nudging him. Dude. I think his legs are hurting. Yeah. Let's tell his owners where he is. Come on. You gotta carry One him. of us needs to I'll stay with the dog. Gotta carry him. Oh, wait. He's gonna carry him. Right, okay. Yeah, I'll help you. Yeah, yeah, you need help, because that's a big dog. Come on. Okay. You gotta help me. What has happened to this dog? We don't know. But it's like Be careful, there's a car. There's the, own there's the owner right there. That's the owner? Yeah. Come on. Come on In that car? Come on. Come on. Wait, I, I took that back. So it's not the owner? No. Uh, okay, filming? fine. Are you filming? Yes. Oh my gosh, you got my face. No, I didn't. I Dude. haven't aimed up at you yet. Come on, let's walk the dog. We have to... Come on, Bogo. He's a stray dog. What do you expect? We gotta get yeah. this guy back to his owner. It's okay, Bogo. He looks like he's been out for days. What happened? He just doesn't eat on a regular basis. Huh. But he smells like... Maybe it's the economy. Family could be on hard times. Gosh, dog. It's really heavy, I guess. Oh, you're heavy, though. You got dog smell. And apparently dog... Oh, I got the dog stuff on my hand, too, when I tried to grab his collar. Come on, Bogo. Let him... Just let him down. Oh, I got hair on me. 
Huh. Yeah, you might want to wipe that crap off. You definitely want to. We all need to wash our hands. Most definitely. No, I need to change clothes. Because my mom's okay. the dog hair. You got room right there. Where? Where? We still gotta get this dog back to his owner. It's only a little while more. Yeah, where that truck is. Yeah. Little Come on, pop one. white one. Yeah. Come on, boy. Or white one. Just put him down. Put him down. He can walk. Sure. Yeah. yeah, but we gotta make sure he goes with us. And his legs are hurting, so he may not want to walk the whole way. Who's that? I'm not a street on the bike. That's not a very appropriate situation to be just calling out to friends. We gotta get this dog home. Work first, play later. Yeah, we're taking this dog home. Does not look like he is in healthy condition, so we're taking him home. We've been playing this video since the beginning. The viewers should know the situation. Hang on, I'm gonna pick him up now. Okay. No, pick him up! I'm picking him up! I'm picking Pogo up! I guess he assumes we can go faster, which I think is correct. Just as long as you're not hurting the dog, I don't see anything wrong with you picking he him up. He doesn't seem like he's in pain. So, from what they say, the owner's house is right there. Right there? Yeah. yeah. Alright. Come on. I'll go. You see it! Hey, stop. Let him go. He lives right there. Let him go. Look, if he's been loose and going around, he may not head back home. That's what we're trying to say. He'll probably turn around or something. We don't know. Shouldn't we tell his owners he's back? No. What? I still think we should say something, shouldn't we? Yeah. I understand that. Go, let's go. Okay, yeah. This is Jet Black and Ghost. And um, apparently the dog was um, kind of old, so he couldn't hear. And the reason he had hair like off of his legs is because he was trying to bite to get to his skin. But the dog was fine, and we got him to his owner safely. Another good deed done by the Rocket City Roush. Ghost with Roxy Rouse here. Uh, I just dislocated my shoulder, but it has not broken my spirit. I am still ready to fight crime. What happened was, I got into a fight, and I was on the ground. I got cheap shotted, stepped on my ribs, and then I got back up after about maybe three, five minutes, and he led me into a trap. Admiral Ar Aardvark over there kept saying it was a trap, but I didn't listen. Then, then I ran, and then. He cheap shot me again. That's what happened.